IMW Melly update. Melly in court today with his lawyers. The judge addressed a number of issues. We're going to go through each of them. First, Melly's demand for a speedy trial. Second, the government's request to get DNA oral swabs from Melly to compare to evidence at the scene. And third, the government's request to take the physical measurements, Melly's height, weight, the length of his limbs, so that they could use that in part of recreating the crime scene. First issue was Melly's demand for a speedy trial. The lawyer for Melly informed the judge that he's spoken to the government and that they are ready to go to trial in March. The judge said, okay, trial is set for March 7th. So we'll see if that date changes. But as of now, YNW Melly is set to go to trial on double murder charges on March 7th of next year. And this is the most fixed real trial date that we have seen in this case thus far. Second was the DNA issue. The DNA issue was very interesting. The uh, defense, Melly's defense made the argument that, look, you don't need his DNA because all it's going to tell you is that he was in the car and you already know he's in the car because he admits it and you have video surveillance footage. So why are you going through the extra step of getting his DNA? When it came time for the government to explain what the DNA would show other than the fact that he was in the car, when it came time for the government to explain whether the DNA will show you know, when he was in the car. The government didn't really have anything to say. Uh, they were kind of holding back their strategy, but ultimately it might be that the DNA is not really gonna show anything other than the fact that he was in the car. We don't know, the government didn't say. Ultimately, it's not clear what the DNA would show beyond the fact that he was in the car at some point. It's not clear if it would show when he was in the car. It's not clear to sh if it would show where in the car. He the judge did not issue a ruling. Instead, he said, I need some time to think about it. I'll get back to you in a few days. Expect a ruling on that in a few days. Finally, on the issue of his measurements, the defense objected and said that, you know, essentially under the law, you have a right to remain silent under the Florida rules of evidence. You cannot take somebody's physical measurements to recreate the crime scene. The prosecution argued that's not true. We can't take a picture of them. We can't take a video of them and insert it into a model. Like if we were recreating the crime scene and showing it to the jury and we have a 3D model of what happened, we wouldn't be able to use his face and we wouldn't be able to use his picture or his video within that model. But however, we can go ahead and take his measurements and make dummies without his face and just use dummies that are his exact measurement. The judge bought that argument. It would be probably appealed if this case ever goes up on appeal, but ultimately for now, the judge said, okay, prosecution, I agree with you. As long as you don't use any videos or pictures in your 3D models, you can go ahead and take his measurements and make a 3D model using a dummy. We'll see where this goes. Very interesting developments. The biggest, biggest takeaway, on March 7th, there is a good chance that the trial of YNW Melly on capital murder charges Hey, will what's start. up? It's your boy, D. Smith. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, Armani.